wondering why I'm basically whispering, that's because it's the evening. I'm starting this vlog at 10 past 8 on a Saturday evening and Noah is asleep right there. Like literally his head is the other side of this wall. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna crank his um his white noise up just a fraction just to drown out my voice anyway good evening my loves i'm in the bathroom because i'm about to have a little pamper evening which i'm so excited about i have not had a bath in a long time i think it's been months do you know what i actually i think about this often what did i do with my time <laughs> before I had a baby and then I remember I had baths every evening I literally had baths every evening and now I am lucky if I get a shower in the morning yeah this evening we're gonna have a gorgeous 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 little bath and me and my mum and Noah actually went into town today um, we went to get Noah some new shoes, now he's walking, he's got some like little pre-walk shoes but we wanted some, there's like a next step up in Clark's, there's like pre-walker and then there's like walker shoes so we ordered him these really cute ones and he had like his feet measured, it was so cute. When I was in town I fell into Lush and guys, look! Smell is just nostalgia. Obviously, I had to go and have a little browse of Lush's Halloween range. I got my usual pumpkin bomb, and then I got why are these bags so noisy? Look at this. This actually looks good enough to eat. Like I want to take a bite out of that. That reminds me of those um, Viennese World World biscuits. Oh, I love them, Mr. Kipling. Yum. God, guys, look at my pumpkin Just bath bomb. It's turned into a mini pumpkin with a really long stem. Is that what it's called? Why do I feel sorry for everything, even a pumpkin bath bomb? <sighs> that was lovely. That was so nice. Did a little face mask, had a little soak, surrounded by a pumpkin bath bombness. Oh, it was just lovely. I am just doing my evening skincare routine. I just want to share with you my holy grail skincare product. This is my personalized skin treatment from Skin and Me in my daily dose. I have been using and loving Skin and Me ever since February. I use this every single evening. It makes my skincare routine just so quick and easy, which as a mum, I really need. Like I do not have a lot of time anymore, especially now Noah is walking, like he is just everywhere. So I find like a really quick and easy routine that I know that works just is a lifesaver for me. Like I said, this skin treatment is actually personalized to my skin. So my skin goals are always hydration. I'm always looking for a product that just really hydrates my skin. I have naturally sensitive and dry skin. So something that just gives my skin a big drink and makes it really glowy and just feel lovely and plump. That is a must for me. Then as she's getting older, <laughs> I really wanted something that tackled my fine lines and wrinkles. I noticed I was getting quite a few round here. And since I've been using this since February, I'd probably say in the last few months I've really noticed that my skin just it feels and looks smoother and I just feel like the overall appearance of my skin is just so much nicer I feel like it's a lot clearer a lot smoother a lot more hydrated a lot more glowy so I'm just going to pop some of this on now and what I love about the daily doser did you guys just hear that click so basically what happens is when you twist your daily dose will actually click when you've got the correct amount of product. So you're never using too much. 
you're always using just the right amount and one of these actually gets delivered to my door every month so by the time i'm on like the last click the next one is coming through the letterbox so my loves i will leave a direct link down below but all you need to do is click that link and then you'll need to fill in a short consultation which is all about your skin all about your skin's needs, your skin's goals, your skin type. I also have a discount code which I'll pop on screen and in the description box down below. To use my discount code, you can actually get your first daily doser for only $4.99, which is amazing. So you can try it out for the month, see how you get on. And yeah, I will leave a link down below. How cozy does this look right now? I'm just about to do a little bit of baking. I'm gonna make Jamie and I some little mini apple crumbles in these super cute little pumpkin dishes. Look how nice the mini crumbles turned out. I just tried a little bit and it's so yummy. I've also been watching Virgin River whilst I've been baking and we're gonna head up to bed and enjoy our mini crumbles. Sunday. Oh, every time. We've got a cat here, cat there, cats everywhere. It is Sunday morning and guys, it's so cozy. It is the most perfect autumn weather. Tilly. Oh, we're just gonna sit there, huh? We're just gonna sit there. You want the tough one, don't you? Here you go. We have had the loveliest morning together. We had a lazy morning, um, I say in bed. It wasn't really in bed because Noah is not still for one minute. So he was kind of like round and round and round the bed, over the bed, under the bed. He had pancakes for breakfast and it's the first Sunday that actually feels like autumn. Like when we got up this morning, it was really foggy outside. It was like misty, oh, it was so nice. The windows also had like fog around the outside. Whenever I say around the outside, literally, this lives in my head rent free. Like when I say around the outside, all I can think of is around the outside, around the outside, around the outside, Eminem without me. It lives in my head rent free. I know that's the most random thing ever, but when I said round the outside, I could just hear his voice in my mind. But yeah, it's crisp, it's sunny, it's just oh, 
the most gorgeous autumn morning. Anyway, my loves, plans for the day are Sunday's always family day. So we're gonna head out for a nice long walk this afternoon. I think we're gonna go over to the woods. We always drive past this woods <laughs> and there's like a big gate and there's a huge log stack like at the entrance and we always drive by it and we're like that looks really cool in there so i think we're gonna head over there and i'm also gonna cook today a slow cooker chili which i've been so excited about i bought all the ingredients the other day and it's all i've been able to think about i'm gonna get that all prepped and cooking in the slow cooker now and then by the time we get home from our walk, it should be ready. It's just one of my favorite things. It's one of my favorite feelings, like a slow cooker dinner waiting for you when you get home or like waiting for you at the end of the day. It's just such a lovely, cozy feeling. Um, I'm really loving my slow cooker at the moment. Like we've made loads of recipes in it over the past sort of like week. And I've kind of been making recipes in it that I would normally make in the evening so we've done curry in it um i've done fajitas in it which was so nice i feel like everything just tastes so much better in the slow cooker i'm gonna get our slow cooker chili on the go i'm gonna serve it with like a big jacket potato oh it's such a nostalgic autumn winter dinner for me chili con carne big jacket potato lots of butter lots of cheese oh, i just can't wait yeah my loves looking forward to spending a cozy sunday with you all in style today. <laughs> so offended. We're in the monster truck. Would you like to explain to everyone why this is the monster truck? It's not the monster truck. It's just a pick. It's just a normal old pickup truck. That's not what you've been calling it for the past <laughs> few weeks since you got it. So the monster truck story. Jamie was at a zebra crossing. Oh, that, <laughs> that one. And oh, yeah. you tell the story. It's your story to tell. Well, I just let this family go by on the zebra crossing, and my window <laughs> was open. And the woman said to the little boy, "Look, it's a monster truck." And I was like, "Yeah, it is." See the little beep, and it, like the horns, like hang on. <laughs> the horns like <laughs> so high, and like everything's black. It looks like a you know, like a little toy. Oh no, that's going to offend him. A little toy <laughs> monster truck. A really big, manly, scary monster truck. <laughs> scary. Scary. <laughs> it's basic. It's just a van, basically, but with four seats, if you like. It's handy. Playing it down. That's not what you've been <laughs> saying for the last few weeks. We are just about to go through the drive-through at Starbucks, and I'm going to try my first autumn drink of the year. I'm very excited. I'm not sure what I want yet. Are you gonna get an autumn beverage? Yes. <laughs> You're not. No, I am. We're last time you there. tried a pumpkin spice last la la latte, you said it tasted like compost, which I feel like it's not an unpopular um, opinion. Oh, let's have a look. Pumpkin spice frappuccino, iced pumpkin spice latte, or pumpkin spice latte. Which one should we have, Noe? We have it. Um, pumpkin spice <clears> latte. <throat> Just gonna PSL. go for a classic. Yeah, ask for a PSL. No, though. Can you get a PSL, please? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hey, can I get a pumpkin spice latte, please? I'm really sorry, I can't hear you. The mint cooler as well, please. Oh, that's the most awkward Starbucks order I think I've ever encountered. I had like ordering anxiety and I wasn't even ordering. <laughs> when silence after the can I have a PSL I didn't actually think you were gonna ask for a PSL. It's time for the first sip of autumn. I'm a little bit scared to sit through that hole because we all know what happens when you do that. Get burnt. The mouth scorcher. 
Oh, why did you do it? Oh, I got it so hot. I wasn't expect. You... It didn't feel that hot. Oh, I got it so nice though. <laughs> Just my entire mouth. Is it worth the pain? Ooh, what are they? Uh, chili tatty bites. Tata, tata, tata bites. Tater. Got Noe a little cheese toasty, which I'm about to jump in the back and give which him. It's going to be very hot. It is going to be very hot, so we'll let it cool a little bit. You ready for your cheese toasty? When we say food, we go, and now, like, if he's ever hungry or thirsty, he will just go, it's so cute. He knows. <laughs> that Starbucks order, I still can't get over it. <laughs> I hit the camera down here because that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to like melt into the ground. It was just like such a mess. She couldn't hear a word Jamie was saying. So, <laughs> could I have a PSL? And then there was the longest pause ever. I thought she thought you were like messing around and she just hadn't answered. That's <coughs> a summer dream. Well, these aren't autumn shorts either. <sighs> Killing my butt. Jamie would just wear shorts. You'd just wear them all year round, wouldn't you, really? Well, I feel actually, like he wears shorts until he absolutely has to put something else like on. If my lips are blue, I've oh. got to take the shorts off. You're like me, but I'm the opposite, so I'll wear like a jumper as far as I can into summer until I'm like sweating so much that I need to take it off. Very hot, aren't they? You can give us a taste test. I've already got a scalded mouth from my PSL. Are they good? The Chipotle tailor mm, Let hot. me know what you think. Mm. What do you think? Oh, poor old Noe, look. Mm, I'm going back one? now. Okay, Noe, I'm coming. With your toasty. Going back. Noe's enjoying his little cheese toasty. Is that yummy? Mmm. We've arrived. Does this woods not just look so cosy? <laughs> Here he is. Are you bringing raisin? Hello. Are you bringing raisin? Raisin is his cuddly giraffe, which is his favourite little cuddly ever. <gasps> Noah's favourite place ever to go is on the back of Jamie's truck. <laughs> favourite. He loves it when this is open and he can like stand. <laughs> I'm coming. Oh, bless him. I'm coming. <laughs> oh, darling. <laughs> Come on, Noah. He's got his walking oh. shoes on and he's ready to go. Noah's a very muddy boy. He's got mud on his hands, which he's not too keen, not too keen on. He's just got his hands like this. He's not very keen on like having things on his hands and being very messy. I remember at his cake smash, he just was like, oh, get it off. It's so nice in here, because you can like hear the rain on the leaves, but we're not getting wet. There's an echo as well, should I do it? It's so nice. I love being in the woods. It smells, it smells like piney as well. I just love it. Knew this would end up happening. Brings raisin. But then mummy has to carry raisin the whole way around the woods. This is the cutest thing ever. So Noah's on Jamie's shoulders. Hello! Hello! And he keeps like leaning over Jamie's shoulder to give him a kiss. And then I felt kind of sad because I didn't get a kiss. And then he just like pointed at me and summoned me and went, uh, which means kiss. I'm coming, don't worry! Keeps looking over his shoulder. I'm coming! <laughs> kiss for Dada. Oh. Mm. <gasps> no, that is the cutest thing. It's for Mama. Mm. 
Did he get one? <laughs> kind of. I think he was too interested at looking at you guys, but I'll take it. We'll say it was a kiss. Okay, we have just got home. Just doing the chili check, which looks really yummy. It's almost ready now. Looks so good, smells amazing. Like walking through the front door and being able to smell this chili was just such a treat. And then in the air fryer, I just have mine and Jamie's jacket potato and a few little wedges for Noah. A little tip for you this autumn winter because jacket potatoes is a firm favorite dinner for me this time of year. If you want the best jacket potatoes ever, you need to pop them in the microwave for about eight to 10 minutes, cover them in oil, cover them in salt, and then pop them in your air fryer for about 25 minutes and they go so gorgeous and crispy, but they're also like really fluffy on the inside. Our new favorite game, now we're walking, is to get everything out of the cupboards He's about and to put them back in. <laughs> You're about to pack your lunchbox. What are we gonna put in there? So we're probably gonna stack our lunchbox with a Peppa Pig egg, Nando's Peri Peri bag and bake, uh, and whatever, whatever else is in this random cupboard. He likes playing with this. Yeah, he loves Jamie's bottles. You you're, this? Gonna, you're gonna pack your bag. His favourite game is actually lid on lid off. Yep. Look, Noe. Look, we're playing lid on lid off over here. <laughs> this is Teddy's new hidey <laughs> hole. We've got a new cat tree, guys, that goes on the wall. It's so good because we've never actually been able to find like a really good place for the cat tree. But Teddy seems to approve. It's a bit of a space. Loves it in here. Isn't it? Yeah. Before the like bottom of the cat tree used to take up so much space. So I feel like having it on the wall is just a good little space saver. And Teddy seems to approve. He looks so cozy. <laughs> kind of jealous of this little bowl. It's like, can I can we look? Can we look at the bottom? As you guys can see, it's like super fluffy. You love it, don't you? You're just so cozy in there. I don't really know how he's fit himself in there because it's quite a small space and Teddy is a big boy but he seems to have curled up in there quite nicely. member of The Walking Dead. That's because I feel like a cast member of The Walking Dead. My eyes, like they're actually, they are pulling closed. I feel like someone's got string on my eyelids and they're like, close me. The teething is back, when does it end? Will someone tell me when the te when teething ends? Um, Noah was awake, I wanna say like every 20 minutes last night, it was at least every hour. So I feel like I've had about 10 minutes sleep. Um, but it's fine, it's a new day. The show must go on. I am wearing the same lounge dress set, guys. I feel like this is all I've well, I can't speak. This is all I've worn recently. And that's because it's just so comfy. It's like the thing I reach for the most at the moment. And I basically just try and wear this all week so I don't have as much washing. Mum life. Anyway, this morning, I think I received the biggest H&M box that I've ever laid eyes on. Um, I did a little bit of a little, a little bit of a big order on H&M the other day, and I just want to share with you what I picked up. I feel like as soon as September comes, they just have the best stuff, and I just can't resist. So, first up, oh my god, this is the first thing I've just seen as I open the box and I'm like, ah, it's so cute. Look oh, at this little set I got for Noah. It says I'm nuts about you. 
so cute i mean no i'm not nuts about you waking up every hour of the night but i am however nuts about you so cute and then it comes with the matching joggers i just thought what a cute little autumnal set for him and you guys are gonna love this so much this is super super cute oh i love it look it's a little halloween basket and i'm gonna make noah a little boo basket this year because i feel like like he's at an age now where he's hopefully gonna like enjoy things like this where i can put like some little halloween treats in there a little halloween outfit um yeah basically like a christmas eve box but halloween edition we call it the boo basket so cute i was worried that this was going to be tiny but it's actually quite a nice little size and oh my god can you just imagine him with in his nuts about you tracksuit track and his little boo basket so cute then she only went and picked up another blooming chopping board didn't she did I need another chopping board? But however, I don't have a dark mango wood chopping board. And I, <laughs> I just love chopping boards so much. As you guys can probably tell, I'm literally looking into the kitchen. I've got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine out already. But I just think they're such a nice little thing to add to your kitchen, like standing up. And they're great for hiding plugs. Like if you have any ugly plug sockets, pop a chopping board in front of it and I also thought this could look quite nice on here as well then oh my god you guys are gonna love picked up another loungewear set because we all know when it comes to autumn I live in loungewear to be fair I live in loungewear all year round but especially autumn I just want to be comfy and cozy so I love this color at the moment I love like a brown so nice these are sold separately oh wait what Oh yeah, I got the jumper dress too. So I got this jumper dress, which you can't really see, but it's just like a gorgeous light brown colour and it's like quite long, it's probably like midi length. Also comes in beige as well. So the jumper looks like this, just nice and loose fitting, like quite a thin knit, perfect for this time of year. Look at the joggers. Oh, so cosy. That can be next week's uniform that I wear from Monday to Sunday. Next. I just got a couple of brown cushion covers. Not very interesting. They're just like a velvety um, kind of material. And then I got like a brown linen color as well. Um, because like I said to you guys, we're kind of like redecorating the living room. Um, and I wanna have in there, I feel like the living room is one of them rooms that just, it doesn't go with the rest of the house. Like it's very like neutral and minimal in there. And I feel like the rest of the house is like, well, I like to say it's like a rustic farmhouse vibe, a neutral farmhouse. So I kind of want to have more wood in there, more like darker colours, like dark brown and just a lot more texture. So it kind of goes with the rest of the house, especially if we're going to have the arch here. I just want like the decor of the living room to like flow into the rest of the house. So just buying a few little bits for now just to kind of like collect them all so we can start redecorating. Then... Guys, this rug. I thought they'd actually forgotten the rug, so I thought there's no way there's a rug in there, but there is. I'm gonna have to show you this properly when I redo the living room, but it's like a neutral, you know, like the vintage style rugs. Oh my God, it's so nice. And it's got tassels. So gorgeous. I will link as much of this as I can down below because like I said, I only ordered this on Friday. So hopefully everything should still be in stock, but You'll be able to get a better look of this online as well. And I, oh, this is going to look so nice in the living room. I feel like it's going to really tie together the neutrals and the browns. We have a box and a very unsafe knife to open it. I really need one of those like little things that are actually for opening parcels because I'm surprised I'm not taking a hand off at this point. <gasps> oh, I forgot about this. Oh my God, so nice little little christmas decor item it's this neutral oh my god my eyes are closing am i okay are you okay Gemma? little christmas tree candlestick so cute i did try and buy the little one as well because there was one that was like half its size and they kind of like sat side by side but it got removed from my order because it was out of stock oh my god oh that's so nice oh so cute 
picked up these little teaspoons and look, they've got little stars on. I just thought they'd be perfect for our Christmas coffee station when we decorate, having like a little bowl. So cute. Actually it, apart from a few more cushion covers, which are the same as the ones I showed you, and just a two pack of just plain t-shirts. So I've got a khaki one and a grey. I just thought they'd be nice for layering. Um, but yeah, that's everything I picked up from H&M. I will link as much as I can down below. Plan for now is I am gonna bake. Doing a lot of baking recently, aren't I? I feel like as soon as it's autumn, I'm like, I have a list of bakes that I really wanna do. We're gonna start the autumn baking off with some pumpkin spice cookies. It's a James patisserie recipe. We're gonna make those. The only thing is, you guys are gonna laugh at this, this morning when I was getting all the ingredients out, I realized I forgot, like, you need orange chocolate balls. So like Halloween, when it's, so obviously when it's Halloween, there's a lot of like orange chocolate. And basically there's no like close shops to us. Like all of like the big supermarkets are about a 25 minute drive. But we do, however, have a little supermarket out the road. And I was like, they must have something orange. And the only thing they had was like loads of packs of M&Ms. So I had to buy six packs of M&Ms and pick out all of the orange and brown ones. So when you guys see me baking these pumpkin spice cookies, just know, just know there was, there was Gemma picking out, sleep deprived Gemma, picking out all of the orange and red M&Ms. And that's a little, little background story of the M&Ms. What am I saying? I feel like I'm talking complete rubbish. Anyway, let's get baking our pumpkin spice cookies. Cookies are fresh out the oven. Oh my goodness, they smell amazing. And I've just broken this one in half. Look how gooey they are on the inside. They smell amazing. So let's do a little taste test. Okay, first things first, they smell amazing. They smell like gingerbread. Now, I'm a little bit sad because my top taste tester, Jamie, is not here today. So, you know, we usually like to get his verdict. So it's a non-biased opinion but I'm gonna do my best for you guys. So let's, let's try. Mmm. It's giving gingerbread. It's really good. My critique is, on the recipe, it said to use chocolate, white chocolate chips or white chocolate chunks and then your orange, your orange chocolates. Here's my M&Ms. Um, but because I was in such a kerfuffle when I was in the shop because there was no like orange chocolate, I forgot the white chocolate chunks. I feel like they would have really made these. So if you do make these, don't forget the chocolate chip chunks. Saying that they are really delicious. I'm just sad I didn't have the white chocolate chunks in there. They'd be really nice with the coffee. Like these with a little with a little pumpkin spice would just be so good together. Anyway, my loves, that is gonna go ahead and conclude this little vlog. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for spending the past few days with us. Also, don't forget to check out Skin and Me. There will be a direct link down below. And don't forget to use my code so you can try it out because you can get your first daily dose for only $4.99. I'll pop my discount code on screen and it'll also be down below. Anyway, my loves, hope you're all having a lovely weekend, a lovely morning, evening, afternoon, night, whenever you're watching this. And I will catch up with you all next weekend. Bye-bye.